This is an example of hard engineering for coastal defences at Burnham-on-Sea in Somerset. You will see in the geography textbooks the pros and cons of hard engineering. And to have a seawall, they'll say the disadvantage is it's expensive. But it's all relative. If this wall is going to last for 150 years, and it's going to protect millions of pounds of property in the town of Burnham-on-Sea, it's a cheap investment. So the advantages often outweigh any disadvantages that you see in geography textbooks such as multinational companies, the costs of the sea defence here in Burnham-on-Sea is worth it because we had water running down the high street, smashing through the Victorian sea defences and it was a fairly common problem, especially during winter storms. Now you can see the construction of this wall is not quite what some geography textbooks said. It said that you'll get undercutting at the base of the wall. Well the engineers did a good job here because they put a series of steps in front of the wall which means that the waves are being challenged. The energy is going to dissipate up the steps and if there's any remaining energy on a super high tide you'll see the curvature of the wall will make the waves roll back on themselves. In hard engineering we have floodgates here. These gates will close and stop water from entering the town. We have the highest high tide of June 2017. This is the highest tide of the month and it's one of the very high tides of the summer season. It's 11.3 meters high. According to the timetable, the tide is highest in 20 minutes time. It's half past eight, it's going to be high water at 10 to 9. And I've been here for a couple of hours watching the sea fill the beach. And it's a pretty spectacular sight seeing the high tide here in Burnham on Sea. And this wall's done a fantastic job since the mid 80s in keeping us dry. Burnham-on-Sea is one of the few coastal areas in the country where global warming over the next 100 or 200 years will flood some of the neighbouring areas towards Barrow and Breen. The town will always be protected. Governments will spend money on protecting valuable real estate settlements. But any villages or isolated houses or farms, they'll just have to be surrendered to the sea because it's not worth the money in protecting every building in remoter settlements along the coast of the British Isles.